Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. This uh, afternoon, we have a special guest, um, rap artist, Day Day. All right, man, you're on the air. Hey, how y'all doing? What's up? We live, y'all. Appreciate you for having me on, man. No, no problem. I want you to tell my uh, listeners uh, a little bit about yourself, what made you uh, decide to uh, get into the rap game, and what is your, um, you know, your 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 uh goals i would say 10 years from now okay well uh what made me go want to get into music was uh i mean since i was a kid you know growing up in church uh i've always just liked music i used to play the drums a lot so i used to like just beatbox and stuff when i was a kid and stuff like that and it's just something i always used to do used to like my cousin say beat on boxes <laughs> beat mm-hmm. on boxes walls everything like that uh we was building the house when i was younger uh, me and my family, and uh, I remember me and my siblings. We used to always make songs during while we was uh, working, and so that's something that you know was just in me since I was a youngin. You know, and then watching Chris Brown and stuff like that uh, coming up, you know, it made me just kind of want to start doing music. So, and uh, yeah, and some goals. You said goals, goals from ten years on. Um, I want to be a multi-millionaire. Uh, All right. I want to have both of my parents retired. My sisters were retired. Um, I want to be in a lot better position than I am now, you know, um, financially, spiritually, mentally, physically, everything, you know. Um, I know it's just going to take a lot of hard work, but, uh, you know, I mean, just pretty much what, you know, my goals may be different than somebody else's, but I just want to be, in a better position than I am now, and I want to be able to take care of my family. Cool, I like that. Um, in terms of, um, let's say, um, getting on the international scenes, are you interested in trying to, you know, do something like that? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I, I definitely want to branch outside of the United States of America. I mean, when you think music, it's not just America. You know, it's all different types of genres of music and people you know music has been around since the beginning of time um so you know it's just it's about reaching a bigger platform than just america a worldwide platform at that as well so we want to have a worldwide impact and uh that's what we're trying to do with me and my team oh that's cool man and like i say man um once i'm able to uh, first raise the funds and capital you know for this film project you know i want to you know at least talk it over with your uh manager and see if i can um See if I can get you to be in the film as well as you know use some of your music, you know. Absolutely, you know I, I would be down with that. Uh, you know I used to do little acts and stuff back in the day, so I mean I would do I would I would you know because you got a good story, so I would love to be a part of that. And, you know, use my platform as well to help influence others, and you know just at least show them our history and what we got to do. So. Well, I- yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, we still got some time, so you know, I want you to feel relaxed, man. Feel uh, yeah, over I'm here. Relaxed, man. I want you, yeah, because I want you to, you know, uh, vent. Tell people, um, okay, uh, let's see what else I can think of asking you. Um, uh, okay, like tell tell us where you grew up. Um, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. You okay, know, I spent some time out there. Uh, I was raised in the country though, uh, Seneca, Missouri. Okay, uh, with my dad, my mom, I got two sisters, and I got a brother. Um, so we was all out there, we was building houses. I mean, shoot, I'm just from a small town, I'm from a small town with big city dreams, you know what I'm saying? So, never really seen a lot of people have a lot of things. So, you know, I always wanted more, and I always wanted to further extend the line of, of what I seen those before me do, you know what I'm saying? And because each generation you post, to, you post to push the barrier, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I was just about working hard because I seen my mom and dad, they, they still working and they are extremely hard workers. So, you know, that stuff was still me since I was a young. So, uh, raising just a small town and, uh, learn worth ethic. And, uh, if you don't work, you don't eat. And so, what we trying to do is just all work till we can see the profit. You know what I mean? I hear you. I hear you. 
And again, you said that was in a small town in Oklahoma, correct? Oklahoma, yeah, and then well, Joplin, Missouri. Well, I do want to I do want to share this with you. You know, that's where um I would say that's where uh, Black Wall Street, you know, originated from. Even though it is. that is the first Black Wall Tulsa. Street. Yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's where I'm from. you got Tulsa, that Oklahoma. Yeah, that's where you got the, those roots from. Mm -hmm. that you Black know? Wall Street, man. That's right, man. Black Wall Street. We trying to we trying to create greatness and get back to that on a uh not just with our people, but just for you know any generation of people, just to show that you can be from a small town, but you can make something happen to yourself. You just gotta want it, you know. You gotta just work hard, and uh, no matter what anybody tells you, you gotta just keep going, and uh, you can't stop. Well, well, I want to say now you're in Texas, correct? Right now, yeah. Okay, so that's good. So you could represent both, you know. Absolutely, oh, you know, and you got Oklahoma to and Texas. It's a worldwide nation, man. We represent the whole entire world. I got you. Not just a small you. place, you know. I, what got I, mean? you, I got you. You know, we can be everywhere. I you got know, you. that's what we trying to do. I'm trying to touch. I'm trying to be global. But I like the fact <laughs> that you are representing the South, man. So that's good, you know. Yeah, you know, I'm saying we gotta bring back the power. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's all, you know. I made a lot of progress in the past couple of years, y'all. Just from just working hard. I mean, and, and and believing in myself. You know, one thing I could tell anybody is, if you're gonna try to do something like this, you gotta believe in yourself because sometimes you might be the only person that believes. Um, your mom might not believe you. Your dad might not support you. It, it could be anything, but you gotta be ready for anything when you're trying to do something great because you gotta show them. Most people are not going to get it because they haven't seen it be done before. So you have to understand they come from a perspective that they, they really don't know. They haven't seen nobody do it. Yes. So you have to you have to go you have to be willing to go against the grain and you have to be able to take chances and risk to seek the bigger reward. May oh okay, I'm gonna quit this job. I might have to go live down here. I might have to go do this, I might have to go do that. You might have to be away from your family for a while, but in the long run, it'll be all worth it, though. You know what I'm saying? So just be ready for that journey. And it's just to be going. Don't ever give up on your dream. Don't let it die. I, I want to say, too, I want to, um like, next time, uh, I, I want you to come back on this show again, too. But I'm going to have you to, um you as well as another, um I'm going to have an African artist. Because that's, that's my thing, man. I want to connect black artists. Absolutely. With, uh, African artists, black entrepreneurs with African entrepreneurs. That's what I'm trying to do with, with, with my uh, business. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to promote, you know, black empowerment films. Mm -hmm. As you know? we should. Yeah. You know so that way we can help. We, we are helping each other. And, you know, we also um, generating wealth, you know, building up our capital. Yep. You're right. We got to build up the capital, man. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do, man, with my stuff, man. You're doing a good job at it too, man. Like I said, it just it takes time. And when you start from the bottom, <coughs> you gotta just be able to know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to spend some time on that and uh be you gotta be in your craft and you gotta just know that eventually it will hit. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, man. I hear you. Um, okay, so do you got any up, upcoming uh songs you know that you can tell people about? And I want you to also tell my listeners where they can find your music, man, so they can um, patronize you, man. Yeah, so my music that's actually available on all platforms, you know what I'm saying, from Spotify to uh, anything you can find me on anything. Um, my next songs that I actually have coming out, uh, I got a couple singles that I'm you know, that I've been keeping in the vault for a little while. Um, probably won't drop no new music, but I actually have some new visuals coming, though. I got a video coming for my, my single, Anthem. I got a video coming for my, my newest single, Get To You. That's actually my latest drop, man. Make sure y'all go check that out right now. Get To You by Day Day, D-A-E-D-A-Y, -E -D -A on all platforms. I mean, that's a Valentine's Day bop. I dropped it on that day. Um See that song to your girl and watch how she treats you, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, got some visuals and different things like that. I'm just trying to, this year, for me, I want to build my social media platform 
You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that as popping as I can. My YouTube, everything is D-A-E, D-A-Y. Make sure y'all just go tap in. The music is is, 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 is it's a vibe. I got all different types of feelings, vibes, whatever. It's pretty much whatever you're feeling that day. You know what I'm saying? So I got I got music for anything and everything. That's good, man. I'm real proud of you, uh, bro. Very proud of you, man. I appreciate it, man, for real. You yeah. Know, we just try to do what we can. Yup, 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 yup. Um uh you think you can play a few beats beats for us or you can't do that i mean probably not okay uh, okay no problem man i just wanted to that's okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying oh. i got you it's okay but, uh, we got some new things coming soon man make sure y'all really go check me out though on all platforms uh um, yeah that's the first interview i've had in a while so i appreciate you for even having me on and you know it's a it's a it's an honor you know what i'm saying uh, Oh, it's no no problem. Also, I want my listeners to understand. I'm gonna um for you, man. I'm gonna um in the comment section below this video podcast. I'm gonna have Day Day's um YouTube page, um, and I like that um I listen to that music that you uh, say something about hustling over everything. Can you uh, tell us a little? Oh, bit I say. Oh, I like yeah. that, man. That oh. was on point, man. Okay, okay, so Hustle Over Everything is it's actually a song that I wrote in, I want to say, 2021, 2020. I think 2022 was actually when I wrote it, and I wrote a first verse to it, but then I went all of, tw- like, the end of 2022, and I went all of last year with not even actually writing nothing to the song, but... You know, my my brother actually passed away in um, December. Oh and, man, you have uh, my condolence. Oh, I appreciate it, man. And uh, so that was just kind of like a hard time for me. And I at that point I hadn't been in the studio for a while, and then I just I went because I was like, I just need to book this session before his funeral because I just got to get some stuff off my chest. And so, like I said. I recorded the song with somebody else, so I had to re- redo the whole entire song. But while redoing it, it made me just have a different creative niche to it. And it's just uh, the feeling when I wrote it, you know, in the studio, I knew it was a hit when it, when I was just laying it because the second verse, I just laid it. I didn't even write it down or nothing. I just, uh, okay, stop. Let's go. Boom. And I just really closed my eyes and I really just felt that music. And because uh, it's really the hustle. And uh, what I had to learn the most through this and like on my journey is that I've lost a lot of people already. And I've not even since I just started doing music. And for me, it's just like, man, that's just life testing me to see if I'm going to keep going through all of that. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I can't give up. I'm I'm here for a reason. I'm still fighting. I'm still standing. Closest ones, pe- closest people to me, not here anymore. So, you know, it just made me look at life a little bit different. And, and it's just the hustle, and you have to embody it. It is a lifestyle. Either if you don't, you hustle. Everybody has to hustle. If you go to work every day, you have to hustle. That's just what it is. And so, that's what that song is for me. That song is, it means a lot to me because it's actually the first song I wrote after my brother passed. We recorded, and it's one of my favorite songs. Like I, I really love all my songs, but it's just the way I remember. It's the way I was feeling on that second verse, just like specifically when I say, I said, uh, I say. Just like the weather, man, these uh, men and women, they change. When they hate you for the reason, just know that you're great. I said, um, I said, all the lies behind my back, but smile on my face. I done been through the fire, got eyes aflame. Like, I mean, shoot, they, you know, ever since I started doing music, I've received so much hate, just like, just because I'm trying to do something positive. Seriously, because whenever I wasn't doing nothing, and I was just doing drugs and everything like that. And nobody had nothing to say, but when I tried to start doing something positive, that's when a lot of people start showing their true colors and stuff like that. And, and people be 
you be thinking they're really happy for you, but they're really not. They're really envious and they're jealous. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not even nothing yet. You don't even want to see me when I'm up if you can't even be around me now. <laughs> and I'm not an arrogant person at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I've been working hard for this. I've been writing music since I was 15, 16 years old. I I'm going to be 23 next month. We all right, man. Like, this is not just, you, man. you know what I mean? This is not just something. Uh oh, we okay. I, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it's not just something that you you get overnight. So this is something that you know it's been a lot of time and attendance and thinking and knowing. Like I know I got I know I got talent. Honestly, can't nobody deny me that. Like I, honestly, I'm telling you, I'm not delusional. I wouldn't be doing music if I didn't feel like I could really change my life and my family's life with this. But I, I really understand and believe and know that I am. So that's why anytime I go in the studio, I don't be stressing. I just let it because it's just, it's just in me. It's not on me. It's just what I do. I create hits. I, I create hits. It's just what I do. Now, I, I, I hate to make this comparison, man, but I'm just going there. You remind me of uh, T.I. Mm. Yeah. I mean, comparisons is just what they are. I get you it. know? I got you. Uh, now, do you like Ti? I mean, I never really listened to his music. He's a rapper. I'm just an artist. I, I, can do, I, I just, you. I just do everything. I got you. I, I do a little. I rap. I sing, and do whatever. Uh, you know, or don't don't be surprised when you see some country drop from me soon. You know what I mean? Not I right. also have a Spanish. I have some uh, Spanish uh, songs in my folders now that I actually recorded and stuff like that. So when I say global, I actually just, I, mean, I really mean global. So there's some Afro beats and stuff that I'm eventually going to start working on because like I said, I'm an artist. I don't just rap. I do a little bit of everything. That's and I, I want to branch out to all these different cultures and, and, and make something of myself. Yeah, man, that's what we have to do, man. Especially in this, uh, the internet internet age, man, or information age. So you know, we have that um, on our uh, in our favor, you know. So we Absolutely. might as well try to use this uh, stuff wisely. So I, I do want to uh, encourage my listeners, you know, to support this young man, uh, Day Day. Also support me, my revised book, The Solution for Black America: Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition. I'm going to have uh, the links to um, my book in the comment section below this video podcast. Uh, before we uh, finish, is there anything else you would like to say to my uh, listeners? Hey, man, I appreciate y'all just even tapping in with me, you know, just a young artist coming from the bottom of it. So if you if you like my story and uh, you can uh, relate to it, you know, give me a follow. It. And, you know, if I like yours, I'll follow you back. You know what I mean? But I'm all about supporting those that support me. So that's right. You know, it's all love at the end of the day, though, regardless. Yeah, and that's what I'm all about, too. Again, um, for you um, young artists that's out there, that's on my friends list, uh, come on o over here so that way you can get some, um, so we can uh, promote you over here. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, tap in, y'all, when you, because you never wait, wait. When people are coming from the bottom of stuff, when when more people want more than one person can come up, it can do a lot of things because we can become gatekeepers. So it's all about supporting them because when somebody can break through the crack, they might be able to help you when you're on your back. Let's think about it. Think about it. Everybody's not always thinking about it. Everybody's always trying to outdo somebody else. But it's just support at the end of the day. You can like it or you don't like it, but you spread love, really. That's my message, though. Spread love. You don't gotta like my music for me to like you. You know, it is what it is. I respect you at the end of the day, and I love you, and, male or female. And and um, I just want to say too, Chicago artists. You know, I would say unknown artists. You know, come on over here. Um, I'm doing this for us because I want to um, make Chicago that a model. You know, a positive model city. Before we expand to, um, you know, to the African continent, before we expand to um, the Caribbeans and in South America. But, you know, I want to make sure that uh, through this Christian business that I'm trying to build up, that we're going to help turn around our communities. 
We want to help stop the genocide in our inner city, starting here in Chicago. That's the whole reason I'm doing all this stuff. You know, I'm not just on here just running off at the mouth. I'm trying to make it happen. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's how come I want to do these um, black empowerment films. So that way we can get our message out, you know, to the black, um, the global world. Absolutely. You know? All right. So with that being said, I'm going um, to conclude our show for today. Thank you all for listening. Peace and blessings. Absolutely.